This is Rich from Eat Sleep 360 and in this video we're going to look at six ways of removing the tripod from your 360 photos and 360 videos. If you're new to this channel this is the place to come to get weekly hints, tips and tutorials for 360 videos and 360 photos. So please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you're told straight away when I upload another video. So first of all, if you're reframing your video, then you can avoid seeing your tripod. And if you're shooting an inverted planet, then it won't be visible anyway. But if that's not the case and the tripod is there blatantly in the middle of your shot in all its glory, then you will want to remove it to improve your photo or video. Not everyone wants to use software and apps when they're taking their photos and videos. They just want to take their photos shoot some video and share it with friends, put it up on social media. And if you're one of those people, then these first two methods are for you. The first method is a very simple and obvious solution, and that is to use a smaller tripod. And I know what you're thinking, well surely if I'm using a smaller tripod, the tripod's gonna still be in the shot. Well, yes and no. The smallest tripod that I've got, and the most well built, is the Joby Micro Tripod. Now when you use this in your 360 photos and videos, it pretty much just disappears. It's The footprint of the tripod is so small that you can just barely see it. The disadvantages to this tripod are that if you attach a selfie stick to it or if you use it on uneven ground or in strong wind that it isn't as stable as some of the other tripods so you've got a good chance of it falling over. This brings me to the second method which is a spiked tripod. Now the spiked tripod is obviously no good at all on concrete or tarmac but it is perfect on soft ground, on dirt, sand and grass. It's really stable and there's very little chance this is going to get blown over if the ground is firm. The really important thing to remember when you're inserting the tripod into the ground or when you're removing it is to remove the camera first and insert the tripod with a selfie stick attached. This will give you more leverage and just make it a lot easier to put into the ground and it saves damage in the base of the camera. The next four methods to remove the tripod from your shot involve software and some are easier and quicker than others. To eliminate the tripod in photos is simple. I use an app called Touch Retouch and it gets rid of the tripod in a matter of seconds or swipe of a finger. You can get rid of tripods, shadows, in fact anything unsightly. You can even eliminate people, so if there's someone in the photo that you don't like, then you just erase them. If you want to do a photo video effect like this in Roll World or any other similar app, then it's important that you erase the tripod in the equirectangular version of the photo. Because once you've converted it with the video effect, you can't then take it in to touch retouch. With video, the removal of the tripod is more lengthy and more complex. And the next three methods can be used for video and photos. Now for method four, this involves using the Insta360 mobile app. Now this method works really well only when the ground surrounding the tripod is all very similar. So the first thing we're going to do is open the app and then locate the clip where we want the tripod removed. So now take a snapshot using the snapshot button of that clip. Now use the back button to come out to the main menu and click on settings and then go to Nadir logo. Now on the bottom of this menu we're going to go to the plus icon. Hit the plus icon and then find the photo that you've just taken. So now move to a section of grass or concrete or whatever it is that's surrounding the tripod and then click done. Now go back to your original photo, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner to bring up the menu and now select logo and now switch the logo icon to on. Zoom out of your photo or your video and you're done. You may have to experiment with how wide or close you take your snapshot and play around a bit with the size of the Nadir logo that you create. But as you can see, this just gives us another way of eliminating the tripod. So method five is the same method as method four, but we're gonna use the Insta360 Studio software. For these two 
methods that we've just talked about with the Nadir logo, you still want to get the tripod as small as possible to make it as effective as possible. In an ideal world, you'd want to export the patch that you've created into something like Photoshop so you could feather the edges so it blends more evenly into the image. So for method six, I use Premiere to remove the tripod. Now this is probably the most complex tripod removal, but it is the most creative and most fun. So you import your clip into Premiere, but then you import a secondary clip into Premiere, and in this case, I imported an inverted planet clip. You then use the mask tool to put the inverted planet inside the tiny planet, which covers up the tripod and the inside of the tiny planet altogether. You can watch this video tutorial, which covers this method in a lot more detail. Let me know in the comments section your best solutions for removing the tripod, especially for video. And if you've got any shortcuts or better solutions for using Premiere to remove the tripod, then I'd be really interested to know. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I'll see you on the next video.